All right, y'all, real quick. Now, in this video, I want to talk about why men must stop being tender about women, okay? Men must stop being tender about women. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm tired of seeing these articles. I'm tired of seeing these stories on social media, on the news, about men killing their girlfriends, men stalking their exes, and things like that. Now, I want you guys to understand something. You're going to meet a woman some point in time in your life. If you're younger, even if you're an older guy, you're going to get your heart broken. It happens to the best of us. You feel me? Whether she breaks up with you or she do some shit to where you got to break up with her. You feel me? Um, and that doesn't always mean cheating. You know, this woman can be acting weird. This woman can be very disrespectful towards you. Or like I said, she can even cheat on you. But... At some point in time, you might get your heart broke. And as men, we wear our hearts on our sleeve. When we love, we love hard. A lot of men are great providers for their women. A lot of men are great uh, when it comes to conversating with their women. You know, so we build these emotional bonds and attachments to these women. But as a man, you should not be hitting a woman for one. And I'm not trying to say this shit to be on some... You know, some old man shouldn't be hitting a woman. No, because it just shows you that you are weak. And not weak in a sense of physically, uh, physically, but mentally and emotionally. That means you cannot control your emotions. You let this woman bring out a feminine aspect of you. Only thing that should bring out your emotions is when it comes to your motherfucking money, your business, and your family. True enough, that woman or that wife, whoever she she might be a part of your family. But it's in her nature for her to go outside of... Uh, to seek something that might be better than you. It might be financially. It might be emotionally. It might be physically. Whatever the situation might be. That woman is going to want what's best for her. Because that's just what in her nature to do. It is what it is. She want that alpha male. She want the top dog. And I say you're not the top dog. But she no longer looked at you as a top dog. So she went out there to go find something that she deems is better than you. So when it comes to that. Yes, that's your family, but you don't want to crash out about that woman because at the end of the day, she go also look at you as being weak because if you want to put your hands on her, if you want to go so far as to put your freedom on the line, you're basically telling that woman, you're the best I can do. You're not going no motherfucking word. And that's the problem with a lot of men. These women are your only accomplishments. You get your first baddie. You feel me? You get that first beautiful woman. You get that first feminine woman. And you like, I can't lose her. If this, if she, if this bitch leave me, she, she got to go. She not leaving. It's either me or nobody else. A lot of y'all got these mentalities because that woman is your only accomplishment. You guys got to get in the habit of having accomplishments outside of women. I'm at a point in my life where my homeboys call me. Yeah, I got the hug. Huh? I done been there, done that. I done had the baddies. I done had the shorties. I done slayed a lot of shit in my life. And I'm, a, I'm still a young guy. You feel me? Once you become numb to that, you don't really care about that no more. And I want y'all to be on that same type of time. Stop having these women as their only prizes and accomplishments. Start looking at shit like I started a business as an accomplishment. I made 10 grand this month as an accomplishment. You feel me? That's some shit you want to hold, uh, hold your pride to. You don't want to just hold your pride to your woman because when I want to leave, you're ready to crash out. You're ready to crash out. So... These same type of efforts that you guys are putting into getting these women, put that effort into getting that business. Put that effort into hitting that motherfucking gym. Have pride about hitting that new motherfucking PR. A lot of y'all don't even know what the fuck it feel like to bench 225. You feel me? You guys got to get in the habit of realizing it's more than life than just women. You feel me? Stop stop doing that. Nigga, if, if, if your girl fuck off on another guy... Bro, take that shit to the chin. You got to be more respected among fellow men and among that woman if you was to be like, you know what, bitch? I'm out. I can do better. I deserve better. You feel me? So I want y'all to get in that mindset, man. I'm tired of getting on social media, scrolling down, such and such. And a lot of them is young women. A lot of them are older women. Scrolling down, seeing these stories. 23-year-old Tasha... Was murdered by boyfriend because she wanted to leave him. And you got women in the comments. These niggas so tender. These niggas. Uh, 
I just seen the video. This dude just shot his fucking girlfriend. And she put a restraining order on him for whatever reason. But she didn't want to be with him no more. But he couldn't take that. You feel me? He couldn't take that. This man cannot take his woman living a life without him. He had the mentality like, it's either me or nobody else. And that's the most tenderest shit as a man that you could possess that type of energy. You feel me? A lot of y'all get a baddie and get her pregnant. Not because you like her, because you want to you wanna, you wanna keep her around forever. You meet this woman, you like her, you find her really attractive. You like her energy, you like her vibe. I'm about to get her pregnant. So I can show the bro it's my baby mama. A lot of y'all niggas is having baby mamas because it's come cool to do. A lot of y'all don't even want to be fathers. You just want to be able to, you look at my baby mama. Look at my BM. You just want to have that pussy locked in forever. You feel me? A lot of y'all need to get stop being so pussy with. You feel me? If I would have been on some type of time to where I wanted to get a lot of these women pregnant, man, bro, I, ain't even, I would have multiple baby mamas. Badass women, a lot of women, and that's one thing about a man who, uh, without kids, it increases your value as a man. A lot of women are going to find you attractive because niggas ain't got dick discipline. Y'all get inside that motherfucker, shoot the club up. She pregnant, never even got a chance to know this woman. Never even got a chance to find out what she about. What are her principles? What can she teach your son or your daughter? You just see a fat ass, nice titties, pretty ass face. Ooh, baby mama, I'm about to get her pregnant. What about her goals in life? What about her financial situation? Can she teach her daughter how to be a young woman? These bitches listening to Sexy Red, Cardi B. It's nothing wrong with having fun, but these are the mothers of your children, bro. I'm the type of guy, even though I don't have kids... I would imagine my baby mama being feminine, a woman that can teach my daughter, even my son, a proper example of how a woman should move. I would want my woman being business oriented. I would want my woman dressing a certain way. I don't want my daughter looking at her mama wearing motherfucking coochie cutters on and shit. Do I slay them women? Do I sleep with them type of women? Yes. Would I wife them women? No. Would I make the woman my, my baby mom? No, you feel me? At the end of the day, I'm still a man. I like what I like, but I'm also a smart man as well. And I'm smart enough to know I don't want this woman carrying my child. You feel me? I don't want that. I want my daughter and my son to see a proper example of how a woman should carry herself. Flat out. So yeah, stop being tender about these women, man. Back to the topic, man. Stop being tender about these women. Stop getting these women... And, and, and feeling like it's about to be together forever. It could be. But in a lot of situations, it's never together forever. You feel me? Understand and realize that. So that way, if y'all do go y'all separate ways, whether you stop liking her or she stop liking you, she cheats on you. you... I just heard something. Um, but whether the situation that plays out how it plays out, you're not going to be so heartbroken to the point where you want to crash out. You want to risk your freedom. You feel me? So just get in the habit of putting yourself first. Looking at yourself as a high value man. You feel me? Look at it like this. If you want to leave me, that's your loss. If you crash out about a woman because she want to leave you, you letting her know it's my loss. I need you more than you need me. You feel me? So, um, fellas, and it's not our fault though because a lot of times... We're not taught how to deal with female nature. We're not taught how to deal with a woman when she becomes emotional. Um, always stay masculine. Always stay in your center position as a man. Never get knocked off of your center guard. And what I mean by that is when your woman is becoming emotional, you don't want to get emotional with her. Never argue with a woman. Say what it is and leave it at that. If she don't want to rock with that, you keep it moving. I'm not about to argue with you. Especially if you a guy who has status. I'm not about to argue with you. You know how many? I got a long line out there. Come on. You feel me? And if she understands that and recognize that, that's going to put her ass in check. You ain't got to put your hands on that woman. But you can only do that to a woman that really likes you, that really wants to be with you. If you chasing this woman, she not going to go for that. You can't tell a woman that you chase that you was thirsty for 
You was all up in her DMs. You finally got that shot at her. You can't tell a woman like, nigga, because she could be like this. You wanted me. I didn't want you. So you think I'm about to listen? To, you think I'm about to submit to you? You think I'm about to, you feel me? So you can only put women in check. And when I say about check, you can make a woman respect you only if that woman has a high interest in you. Yes, you can meet a woman to where um, she didn't have a high interest. You was attracted to her. You shot at her DMs and she built an attraction for you and, and it can reverse. You feel me? But you're going to have a better shot when that woman has a high attraction for you just as you have a high attraction for her. Flat out. And sometimes she probably got to like you more than you like her. Because the more that she like you, the less shit she going to put your ass through. So, yeah, um, let's get it together, fellas. You feel me? And another thing I want to uh, touch on before I end the video. <clears throat> stop. Stop making women your first priority. What I mean by that is this. A lot of y'all ain't got your careers together. You don't know what you want to do, who you want to be, where you want to go. And most importantly, you haven't even developed yourself as a man to even bring a woman into your life. You all looking for love, but you ain't even find yourself yet. Find yourself as a man. Build your empire as a man. So when you build that empire, you meet your woman, you have your kids, you can have some direction going on. You can lead properly. You don't want to be broke. You don't want to be trying to figure shit out. You don't want to be working at McDonald's and nothing wrong with that. But most men want more than that. It's nothing wrong with starting her. But you don't want to be at these levels in life trying to find love. Because that's going to put you in a position where you already have in comp. You're going to bring conflict to your life with these women. Because we know women like to go on dates. They like, you know, they, they, they women. They want gifts. You feel me? They want to be catered to, you know. You got to spend money, basically is what I'm saying. So if you a man that feel like your finances are together, why are you trying to find love? And then you meet this woman, and you mad because she want to go on dates and shit like, well, I ain't got it. I'm fucked up. Uh -huh. Then why the fuck would you even bring that woman into your life? Why even pursue that woman? So just having your shit together minimizes these type of situations. So yeah, y'all, I just wanted to touch on this subject. Um, more videos to come. Um, like I said, we're going to get stronger, man. Mentally, physically, spiritually, with our relationships, with our women, and with our life in general. Indigo BJ signing out. I'll see y'all on the next video. Much love.